Hi there, internets. It's time for another Webflow app review. Now, as a longtime member of the Webflow community, I wanna make sure that you're getting the most out of Webflow and the tools the community offers. So let's check out Gradient Flow by Demand Flow. It's a new Webflow app that can help add detailed gradients to your Webflow site. Now this new app piqued my interest because at this time, Webflow only allows for two types of background gradients, linear and radial. It seems like Gradient Flow can help unlock other types of gradients by letting you paste in CSS. So let's explore this app and see if it's the right tool for your projects by showing you a demo, going over the pros and cons, and lastly, giving you my personal opinion. All right, let's go ahead and open up Gradient Flow. I'm gonna launch that. And we have presets and a preview window and a place to put your custom CSS. So I'm gonna open up the presets click on one of them and there we go. I can change anything I want in here. For example, let's change the degrees to 115. Oops, there we go. And yeah, I can press apply and there we go. So if I click out and click back in, you can see that the linear gradient has been added. All the stops, all the colors and the angle, all translated into Webflow. So CSS to Webflow, awesome. All right, now say I change something like this, I want to change this. Now, if I click out, there's no way yet. Um, uh, I don't think there is yet. Maybe it's the Webflow API, but there is no plus sign. I can't add a new preset in here. I think that would be a really nice feature to have. All right. Um, now, we already know that Webflow has both linear and radial gradients. But with gradient flow, you can go even further by adding uh, some more advanced type of gradients. So I'm gonna remove this and let's go ahead, open up Figma. And what about this? So this is a conic gradient or a cone gradient. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this style, go back to gradient flow and paste this in. And notice how there's a filtered blur Right here, it's a filter blur. This is what makes it look all nice. If I try to apply it, um, as you can see here on the preview and here on the result, it doesn't add the blur. And that's totally fine. So if I click out and try to add the filter, notice how adding a filter breaks it. Um, there is, I, I can't see my, uh, my conic gradient anymore. So what I have to do is reset. And even if I reset, the conic gradient is gone. So the workaround for this is to add the filter first. So I'm gonna put 71 for the blur and then go to gradient flow and paste in my CSS. And there we go. So there is the workaround. Uh, last thing about this is if I click out and back in, you'll see that it's right here, but it's listed as a linear gradient, which it's not, it's a conic gradient because Webflow doesn't have conic yet. Uh, the CSS is being applied, but Webflow style panel doesn't understand it. And because it doesn't understand it, if you click on it, it crashes the designer tool. So what you need to do is refresh. And the only workaround for this is just to not touch that. If I click on this, I'm, just not gonna touch this at all, all right? So that's a quick demo of Gradient Flow. The pros for this app are it's very simple to use and as advertised, it unlocks more gradients like conic, repeating linear, and repeating radial. And now for the cons. Number one, just like Diego's Better Shadows app, it has a presets feature, but you can't save anything to presets. Maybe this is just a Webflow app API limitation, and if so, then it would be a nice feature to have in the future. Number two, you can't make subtle changes to your gradient after applying it. Number three, gradients are removed when applying filters to it. A workaround for this is to first apply your filters to the element, then use gradient flow to add your custom gradient. And lastly, number four, Adding anything other than radial or linear gradients can cause Webflow to crash if you click on the background style. Now, I did reach out to the demand flow team about these issues, and I got a response from them saying, we're working on a couple little fixes plus tweaks, so we will get that bug patched ASAP. 
So for my opinion, Gradient Flow is a great app for now since it helps unlock more background gradient options. However, I can see Webflow adding this functionality into the core designer in the near future since it is just CSS. And that's it for my review. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. What are your thoughts about Gradient Flow? And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. And of course, thanks for making the web beautiful together. See ya.